Welcome to this week's episode. I'm Paula Williams. And I'm John Williams. And we are ADCI, and ADCI's mission is... How for you folks in aviation world sell more through your products and services. Absolutely. So this week, um, we're continuing our series for larger organizations. Uh, and this one actually works for anybody across the board, but uh, large organizations typically have a... Um, more time to think about this <laughs> or more reason to think about this depending on where they're located and you know what they're doing and how many people are, are involved. Um, so this one is about education and career development programs. And there. Um, most aviation companies are too small to really do a great job of career development and education for their employees. Um, but we can help. <laughs> um, there's a lot of leadership organizations or a lot of leadership programs, especially at large organizations, where they rotate people through different departments yes. to learn the whole organization before they put them in a leadership position. Um, I think you could do a smaller version of that in your sales and marketing department, where people in sales and marketing, you know, whether they are content creators, whether they are um, social media experts, whether they are writers, whether they are um, Salespeople, brokers, customer service people, all the way across those departments. Because that puts them in the role of helping the client, customer. Exactly. They're all in the role of helping the customer. And a lot of times, you know, they do what they do and then they're all complaining about each other. You know, <laughs> uh, this is just human nature. Like, you know, sales is complaining that marketing is not giving them enough leads or that the leads aren't relevant enough or that they're not qualified in some way or whatever. Marketing is saying that sales isn't giving them enough photos of their events and other things or photos of the products or photos of the planes or or whatever. And, you know, they're just complaining about each other because they don't understand how hard each other's job really is. is. Exactly. Um, so I think, you know, having people learn about each other's roles is really, really helpful. And uh, one of the things that we do, you know, we are a learning organization. We have created entire courses that have been approved by the FAA for different, you know, uh, continuing education requirements mm -hmm. and things. So we can create a course or a company that will help them round out their um, sales and marketing department and also create some career paths within their sales and marketing department where people learn each other's jobs. And, uh, you know, that is always good for everything, whether or not they're going to actually do all of those jobs or whether they're just going to um, be able to work together more effectively, right? Yep. Okay. So we've got some workshops that are already set up and ready to go, like a trade show workshop. You know, if you're going to go to a trade show, you want to know what you should be doing 30, 60, 90 days before the trade show, what you should be doing 30 days after the trade show, et cetera. So that's pretty standard. Any organization that does a trade show, you know, you can just take that workshop and use it. We can also create custom workshops or companies that want to teach their employees something specific. Um, you know, like this is how you do X, Y, or Z in especially a sales or marketing role. Um, or we can adapt something that we do, like we have a prospecting course, but we can adapt it to that company's tools and processes. Um, so that we're substituting, you know, industry best practices and putting in on top of that your company's standard operating procedures or whatever, and your software and your tools and you know things like that. So all of that can be done, uh, and by modularizing that and making it available on demand, right? So that you hire a new person and then they get all of those courses available to them to take whenever they want to. You can incentivize that and say, you know, you need to have all of these done within your first 90 days. Um, you know, then you get people who are speaking the same language. You get people who are on the same page in terms of how to get things done. And it really helps your team operate together a lot more effectively. Sure. Cool. So, um, yeah, education and career development. How that contributes to career development, we haven't really talked about that, but obviously you want people to reach a certain level of proficiency on certain tasks and things. So, you know, you give them the education, you can do some kind of checklist or something like that where they're evaluated by their peers or whether while well, they're evaluated on some objective criteria. And, uh, you know, then they can progress in their career. It gives people 
a feeling of control over their life, right? Why was this objective? Right. And I know how to get from here to the next level. If I want to raise, I don't just tell my boss I want to raise because oh, well, I need more money. <laughs> They they know what it takes to get to the next level. And, you know, that's in line with the company's objectives as well mm-hmm. of having a fully trained expert um, team that can reach those high levels of performance because they have the training, they have the expertise, they demonstrated the skills in an objective way. Exactly. All right. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week. Ciao.